Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Wrenched. Today, this video is about the new patch in Brawlhalla. It's the Bra Halloween patch. We have all of the Halloween skins back, the Halloween color, stuff like that. I'm not using webcam for this video because it's sort of late. I just finished packing for Dreamhack Rotterdam, so I'm going to that. So I just decided not to use webcam for this video. But webcam is still going to be a normal thing in other videos. So we're chilling. I have uh, stream highlight videos coming up while I'm at Rotterdam as well. So we're on the news page for the patch here. And we got the new skins. That's not what we're here to look at though. We're here to look at the new Qatar changes. Qatar's changes that happened this patch that are actually extremely big to the weapon. Changes it up a lot right here. Qatar sidelight, decreased momentum carried over from movements such as a dash. This is the biggest part of the patch, I think, because now when you dash with Qatar sidelight, you don't go any further than a normal sidelight. So you control a lot less space on the ground now with Qatar's. You don't immediately win neutral just from dash sidelight now. So the next thing is Qatar neutral air. This one I actually didn't expect because I didn't expect the nair nerf at all. But increased recover time on missed from 3 fixed 22 variable to 5 fixed 22 variable. Decreased stun from a range of 25 to 18 to a range of 23 to 16 and dampened acceleration allowed during the attack. So basically what this all means, you have less stun. So Qatar nair into D line now is not true anymore. Actually, I think I think you can hit it true maybe once if you hit it perfectly in white. And I think that's it. So it's very inconsistent now. If anything, it's like two two stun or two dodge window in between their D line now. I don't think Dex plays a factor in that. So that's part of it, but then also increase recover recover time on miss. So you get punished for missing it a little bit more now. Actually a considerable amount more. And then finally, dampened acceleration allowed during the attack. So basically, if you're retreating while doing Qatar Nair, you literally will not move anymore, pretty much. You'll just like, you'll lose all of your momentum. If you're going forward, now you have less. Like out of a dash jump, now you have less momentum if you do a Nair. If you do dash jump reverse Nair, your, mo your momentum literally completely stops midair, and then you just plummet. So... It's kind of weird, but it's okay. I don't I don't think it's that much of a big deal uh, for that nerf. Guitar side air increased damage from 15 to 16. That one was also really weird. It's not going to play that big of a, of a like a role in anything in this entire game, but like it's not that big. It doesn't really matter, but it's it's nice. It's nice that it's there even though it's weird. And then guitar recovery updated hitboxing during the final slash to better match the animation resulting in slightly less vertical and rear coverage. So basically, some hitboxes at the end of the animation that were kind of weird and that shouldn't have been there were removed. So now you have a little bit less of a window to hit the recovery, but it, it it's pretty much still the same. So it doesn't matter exactly that much. So we're gonna get into the game here. Okay, so we're in the game now. We're gonna get some ranked well, not ranked yet, actually. We're going to get some training mode in quick to kind of show them off in-game after now that we've talked about them. First off, the Nair thing I want to talk about, actually. Like I was talking about, when you go backwards, you lose all of your momentum, pretty much. Like, honestly, if you're falling and then you do, like, oops, and then you do Nair, and then you try to back up, like I'm pressing right right now, when you're in the animation, you can't really back up that much anymore. Like, you back up a little bit, but not a lot. That's even especially bad for falling there, because you can't really retreat as much now. So, when you hit it now, also, yeah, it's a two dodge window between there and D-Light now, which is a pretty big disadvantage to before, because losing a true combo is pretty big. Like, if it originally wasn't true, that wouldn't be that big of a deal, but... Now, now we're losing a true combo, so they can dodge. So you have to, you have to be able to punish them out of dodges out of there now. But also, some people won't dodge, so you can still get that. It's also just less tight. If you dash jump, 
with an air, you still get like a similar amount of momentum. So that's still fun. You just can't really retreat with that anymore. Landing with it all the time isn't so great. It's more punishable now. So what you want to land with is pretty much dare. Dare if you can be accurate. So sort of how you would before, except you just use nair less. Like you can still use it. It's still good in situations, but less. Because dare, dare, you'll recover quicker than if you did with nair. And it just puts you into a better situation in general. So next we are going to talk about the side light. This is pretty big. Watch this, watch this. Before I would be able to dash side light and hit them here. Now I can't, I'm just a bit short. Okay, that time, yeah. But you're just a bit short now because you don't have that dash momentum. So you can't just dash side light in for free anymore. You sort of have to, you have to play a better neutral now. You have to kind of move around now. But another thing is like, that just means dare approaches will get a little bit better because they don't look so bad now compared to how side light is now. Side light isn't bad, by the way. It's just not overpowered anymore, you know? So another thing you can do with guitars is just dash jump or empty jump side light, which is just dash jump fast fall side light. That's good, especially if you're using dash jump there because it gives off the same sort of reaction as if you were doing a dash jump there. It looks similar in the beginning, but then you're doing dash side light like really quickly. Plus you can also get out, like get over certain options like sword D light just in case. So it's a little bit safer then. You still have your side light combo. Side light wasn't changed in any way like that. So, and then Sarah, one more damage. Not really a big deal at all. Um, you also have recovery, which I don't know how I'm gonna show this actually. You don't have hitboxes here anymore because you used to have like hitboxes all the way from here to here to at the end here. Like it would just be really awkward when you hit that last hitbox because it was sort of like lingering there basically. So I was just kind of cleaned up. But yeah, no more near D light, side light range decreased. Landing with dare more. So you can sort of use that information to adapt how you play with new guitars now. Because guitars are definitely not bad now. It's just they're bad the old way that they were used to be played. You can't play that way anymore. You sort of have to adapt to new guitars. And then they are really good still. So we're going to go and play some games here with new guitars. Yo, honestly, I'm going to just spar Santi. <laughs> Never mind, dude. Okay. So... Sun on the Sidra is gonna be our first game on Great Hall with the pumpkins for Halloween. I wish you could turn those off, bro. Like, yeah, you'll still hit D-Light in there. You don't have to worry about that. Lucy and D-Sig? Never mind. Now I gotta play guns in a Katars video. Oh my, weapon throws are tilting me today, dude. He's really trying to win. Okay, so. Damn. Oh my god, 1D sick, bro. 1D sick, there we go. There we go, that's all I need. Back to the guitars. Oh my god. What's oh, my side light? Whack. I really feel like Cannon's busted this patch compared to everything else now. 
Other than like orb, maybe blasters. Okay. He's sweating his balls off at like 11 at night. That's clean. I need to get some guitars back, to be honest. Let me get this bus to the daylight recovery. Oh my. Bro, please. Okay, this is winnable. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Peace out, homie. <sighs> that was garbage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he insta left. That blows, dude. That sucks. Holy, that was the sweatiest fucking game of my life. Okay. That game was like five minutes on, a, on its own, pretty much. So I don't think I'm gonna play a second one. <laughs> But, but, yeah, I hope this video helped. So now you know what to do with new guitars a little bit. Uh, I guess now I have to make changes to the guy that I've been working on. So I kind of assumed that would happen. So eventually I get back from Rotterdam on Monday, next Monday. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys had a really good day today. Cheer me on at Rotterdam. Peace out and see you in the next video.